a brand new photo leaks of Javante Tank Davis. He's on his phone chilling. But the thing I notice is he's in shape. Let's talk about it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego. And I'm back with some more boxing. Now, Ego Weight Watchers. You see the picture on the screen, Javante Tank Davis. A new post, a new photo. And Ego Weight Watchers, a.k.a. Ill. Where I give you a look into the fighter lifestyle before, after, and progress picks, especially when they have an upcoming fight. Now, I don't know who Tank Davis will be fighting next, but from the looks of it, Gervonta Davis is definitely keeping his weight down. And this is great news. Now, on my channel, this is not for the weak. Not if you got a weak heart, if you got a weak mind, if you don't want to accept the truth, then my channel is not for you, right? Gervonta A-Side Davis is exactly that, the A-Side. His name is buzzing and he's not even fighting. And I notice it's from the usual suspects, the haters, the frequent haters of Floyd Mayweather, frequent haters of Al Heyman, frequent haters of Gervonta Davis, PBC, and the list continues. And you're seeing it again. And it's funny because it's the usual suspects. When Tank Davis would miss his weight on the scale, on the Mayweather McGregor undercard or the Gamboa fight where he had to do a second weigh in. This is all I seen. A bunch of negativity saying, oh, Tank is unprofessional. Tank don't make his weight. Tank this, tank that. Now I'm showing you, Ego Weight Watchers, that Tank is maintaining his weight and he hasn't seemingly had a problem with weight. Fought two times this year, had a sensational performance in both had a knockout against both Ryan Garcia and another Garcia, Hector Luis Garcia. Two performances, same outcome, two knockouts, right? All these things, I would say Tank had a good year, just like the blimp. But the haters will never admit this, you know? And I understand that Devin Haney is calling him out, but who isn't? Everybody's calling you out. How can Tank Davis not be the A-side when that's all you hear, you hear his name, no matter what, from somebody, right? So it further illustrates the point that I'm making is you can't please everybody. It's like Box of Ego. They say, oh, Ego ain't this, Ego that, Ego this. Some good comments, some bad comments, but they all talk about Box of Ego. So you see that with Javante Davis, he's now starting to enter his Floyd arc where no matter what, you're not going to be able to please everybody and people are going to complain. Like I said, specifically the usual suspects when tank was missing weight or having to weigh in twice and looking like puffy in his off season these same people said oh tank's unprofessional he's undisciplined meanwhile virgil ortiz misses weight jojo diaz jr keeps missing weight you don't hear a peep but it's all eyes on tank when he don't miss weight now that he's making weight and now that he's looking in shape and looks like he's maintaining his shape you don't hear about that either on my channel, I'm not doing that. I'm giving you both sides of the coin. At times where Tank was unprofessional or he missed weight, I talked about it. When I see the man managing his weight, I'm going to talk about it. And again, this is not for the faint of heart on my channel. I don't really care. Some people are like, oh, you're protecting Tank, which I got a live stream coming later and we're going to discuss all that. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel regarding that. But I can't wait for what's next. Again, Tank doesn't even have to fight and his name appears to be buzzing. The other thing that's a bit weird for me is this. Devin Haney looked good in his last fight. I was there live. He called out Tank Davis. You know, there allegedly was a $20 million offer, but I stand on business. I stand on what I said. I've never seen it where the A side gets offered the terms and you know the amount of money the other thing is let's look at the 20 million okay they offered tank 20 million let's say right i'm just hyperbole we're gonna spitball this ryan garcia is quoted his promoter said ryan made over 30 million dollars earlier this year to fight tank so where did you get 20 million dollars when the b-side to tank's very last fight made more than that so 
God knows how much Tank made when it was all said and done. Plus, the fight did over a million pay-per-view buys. Now, I know the truth hurts some of y'all. Y'all don't want to hear it, but these are the facts. I deal with facts. If you ain't talking about facts, you ain't talking about nothing. Tank is the man. He's the A-side. Can't wait to see what's next. The other thing that's a bit weird for me when we're talking about this conversation is just really think about it. What makes you believe that Tank, LRB, PBC, Al Heyman, Gervonta's team, GTD Promotions, what makes you believe that they're sitting around idle waiting for December 9th for Devin Haney? You know, before that, waiting for Ryan Garcia, Oscar Duarte. Before that, waiting for Shakur versus Edwin De Los Santos before they handle their own business to see what's next. Tank very well could have his own fight. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. What I do know is PBC just did a brand new deal with Jeff Bezos's Amazon, Amazon Prime. And like Calvin Ford said, that smile is in every home. But it's just ironic the amount of misguided or ill-informed fans that believe that Tank is just sitting around waiting for people to call him out without working on what's next like what's the next order of business like i said for all we know he could very well have his own next fight we don't know that so people say oh he's scared he's ducking i mean you can say whatever you want in the comment sections we have to wait and see what he decides to do look and look it was to say incoming call al Heyman. let me see when he posted this So this was in October. So who knows what they even discussed, you know, at the end of the day. So I can't wait. I can <laughs> I definitely can't wait to see what's next. And here's the other thing. Let's be clear. No matter what is next, we know that Tank is going to have a lot of attention. And it's funny cuz you have people spreading lies. They saying, "Oh, Tank, he he looks bad." How do you look bad the same year you fought twice, which a lot of people these are the things that people say. They say, all oh, these fighters are too inactive. Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence, they only fought one time a year. Well, Tank didn't. He got one in in January, and he got another one in versus Ryan Garcia, I believe in April. So he has two fights in a year, one being his biggest earner, made the most money, and went to, went to jail, came out, you know, serving whatever he has to do, community service or whatever, and he's probably planning what his next move is. I love it. I love it. And then you have people saying, oh, he had a bad year and he looks bad. We'll see. Like I said, my challenge is very simple. Anybody that believes that Tank Davis is not an A side, they believe Tank is hurting or ruining boxing. They believe Tank is not good or whatever people are saying it, whatever negativity people are saying, how about they don't talk about tank in their videos and their YouTube titles in you know, Facebook groups on Snapchat, TikTok, X don't talk about him because we know from the Floyd effect, the more you talk about somebody, the more it's going to balloon up and give them publicity. Why would you even want that? And it's funny because you have people who say, oh, Javante Davis, when's he going to step up? Oh, Javante Davis, he ain't beat nobody. But then the same nobodies, other people want to fight them. Hmm? I'm going to say it again. They say Javante Davis, he ain't beat nobody. But then the same nobodies, a.k.a. Javante's last opponent, Ryan Garcia, what happened? What happened with Ryan Garcia? Oh, yeah, that's right. Devin Haney was on Ariel Hawani saying his team is in cahoots with Oscar De La Hoya and they want to make a Ryan Garcia fight. So somebody got to make this make sense. In the words of Tupac Shakur, somebody got to explain why I ain't got. Sh make that make sense. Ryan post fight, he beat Duerte. Who did he call out at the post-fight press conference? 
Rolando Roly Ramiro, a.k.a. Rolies. Who did Rolies fight when he was undefeated and get knocked out by his only loss? That's right, Javante Davis. So Ryan said he wants to fight Roly. He even put up a poll and he says, who do you want to see me fight? Roly first or Haney first? Wait, wait, wait. Roly fought when he was undefeated and Tank was undefeated. And we already seen that. So how is it a good fight for Ryan Garcia to get Rollies? Because they're champions in another division. When there's the, They just showed the Rollie clip right there. They just showed it. And now they're showing Ryan Garcia. Perfect timing. You couldn't have planned this. It's a freestyle video, but you could not have planned it any better. So you just seen Rollie clip in this montage. And now you're seeing Ryan Garcia. Perfect, perfect timing, right? So the point I'm saying is... When Tank fights these guys and beats them when they're undefeated and then people fight his quote unquote leftovers, that's what we call it in boxing when someone else notable had you, you know, pause. But then other people want to fight the same people thereafter. Now, all of a sudden, it's a great fight. It's a good fight. So it's a great fight for Devin to fight a once beaten Ryan Garcia in a new division. And Pete, I don't have a problem with Devin and Ryan. I like the fight, but I'm also not hating on Javante Davis. So this is the question goes out to the people who say Tank ain't him. Look, there's the Roley knockout. Boom. Ryan just called out Roley. So somebody got to make it make sense. Like I said, Tupac, somebody got to explain why I ain't got ish. Y'all got to make that make sense. How Tank is fighting undefeated fighters like Roley, like Ryan Garcia and Hector Luis Garcia. But then Lamont Roach could fight Hector Luis Garcia. Ryan can call out Ro Rollies. Devin could say he's in negotiations with Ryan. But the same people who hate on Tank, they say Tank needs to step up. He needs to fight somebody. So I'm so curious how that's supposed to work out. Please leave me a detailed comment because people say they disagree. But then they ain't talking about nothing. So leave me a detailed comment in the comment section explaining how an unbeaten version of these fighters fight Tank and people still say, oh, his resume, I'm not impressed. But then it's OK for X, Y and Z fighter to fight that person after Tank already got him and Tank already beat him, you know. So all these things and double standards, they further illustrate the point that Gervonta Davis is him he's the a side it makes no sense to go against that point blank period point blank period so i look forward to reading the comments and seeing what y'all have to say the people who know if you know you know but the people who disagree that is to you specifically please let me know how tank's resume is terrible according to them and tank is not doing what he's supposed to be doing according to them but then people want to fight tank leftovers and then you would give credit if devin haney beats ryan garcia you would give credit if ryan garcia beat roley you would give credit if roley beat ryan garcia etc etc please make that make sense in the comments section and finally here's in the similar in the similar vein answer this question they keep saying tank ain't fought nobody and when is he going to step up and why he didn't fight Lomachenko? All this goofy stuff, right? Why is he doing this type of numbers? Who Who is paying for, why is he setting live gate records and doing this type of financial successful events if he's so detrimental and so bad and not, why is LeBron James going to his fight? Why is Madonna and Tory Lanez when he was free before he was sitting down going to Tank's fight? Why are all these basketball players and A-list A-list celebrities and Chance the Rapper? I mean, even Devin Haney was at Tank's last fight with Ryan Garcia. So if the man's doing so bad and putting on the worst events and needs to fight somebody, why is Mike Tyson going to it? Sugar Ray Leonard, Shaquille O'Neal. I seen Shaquille O'Neal at Tank's fight versus Gamboa. So people, they again, they talk and they say this and that and they say, oh, Ego, you're lying. But at the same time, the words ain't making much sense. Let me know some in the comment section. Best in the business. And it's not even close.